Start, be obsessed, take breaks in between, and just keep pushing. Right? For me, like I think one of the challenges I faced myself starting out as a creative was burnout, and then that burnout making me feel as if like I'm not supposed to be doing this because of it's like you know it's too difficult or whatever. It's like, but if I was being honest with myself, I was making it too difficult for myself in my approach as opposed to being more sensible and actually taking time out every once in a while to reset. Because your body needs, the same way you need rest, you need breaks, like, you know, you need sleep. Like, sleep is the most important meal of the day and without it, you just can't function, like, you know? So, same thing with, like, my creative approach is, like, I need to take breaks from time to time in order for myself to really see what's in front of me um, and uh, really kind of appreciate where I'm at and what I've done so far. My name is Farouk Alao. I am a Nigerian-born, uh, Dublin-raised artist. Um, I am currently based between Dublin and London. Yeah, I've always been creative. Like I've always, I was the kid that was in that was Irish dancing in primary school. Where I was like, uh, you know, in drama club or like you know, part of plays and like always dancing and like just. I think if I was if TikTok was out when I was younger, I would definitely be a TikTok star by now. Because uh, I was just that kid, like I was always hopping around, dancing, playing. Like you know, I was always had like a creative mindset. Um, and fortunately as well, my mom kind of had a, like she was a she was a seamstress um, uh, in the past, and so I feel like I got a lot of my creative energy from her. Um, and uh, yeah, growing up, I always wanted to be an artist, and then I kind of went down the direction of design for a while, which I loved and learned a lot from, and heavily informs like my artistic approach now. A lot of my work revolves around trying to understand my emotions, which innately means that I have to challenge myself and my mind frame or my mindset with things because that's what creates the emotions. It's like my mindset and how I react and respond to different stimulus um, or things that happen to me in life. Um, so uh, like, for example, like my body work, like the piece that's behind me comes from a body work kind of where I was kind of trying to understand my depression and why my depression happened and where it came from and how it felt to be depressed and how it felt like to kind of go through. For me, I realized it was five different stages, for example. Uh, first stage being like being like engulfed by depression and like feeling out of control and feeling like someone else was in control of me. And then like the second stage was like sitting within that depression and like feeling like that internal voice was screaming at me and I was powerless and I couldn't really move. And then this is the third stage where I was like bouncing between emotions and I couldn't sit still and this this is meant to kind of articulate like the way you can't really see one solid of color even though it's made up of like eight different colors showcases like that feeling of bouncing between emotions and finding it really difficult to stay still and see an entire color see an entire emotion um, uh, then the next stage for me was realization and acceptance of like okay, this is happening because I'm feeling all these different things and uh, I mean didn't used to address those emotions in the past, but then because of this period of depression and, and choosing to understand it, I was able to understand it's like I needed to feel all these different things because I was going through all of these different pains, whether it was COVID or like stuff happening to family or stuff happening to friends. And then the final stage was like fully accepting and then moving on and then feeling like I was there again. So like that was a process that I hadn't gone back through in the past and I've had like the like minor depressive episodes here and there like everyone in the past but I never like sat down and like questioned it and like you know why is this happening and why do I feel like this and uh, that's the core of my work and whether it's happiness like why do I feel happy and why do I feel like my new body of work like big love like that's all about like that sense of love and playfulness and why do I feel this love and trying to understand the definition of love and understand the definition of love to me um, so it's just yeah questioning what I think I know about myself and also eventually uh, questioning what other people think they know about themselves as well. So my relationship with Temple Bar Gallery started out uh, with a commission from two guest curators, Kate Strain and Rachel Gilborn, who I really, really appreciate and, and love those two women. And I, so that, that was my first 
uh, introduction to the gallery uh, on a formal basis in terms of like as an artist. Um, and then from there, Temple Bar then commissioned me to do another project they did last year as part of Culture Night, which is the flags and, um, and the workshop here actually in this very studio space. And then uh, following that, the, they kind of encouraged me to do a studio visit and organize a studio visit with other curators and other creatives uh, and other just people to try and meet more people in, in Dublin, which is great for me because, of, like I said, I've been living outside of Dublin for the last year, so I haven't really had much of an opportunity to really connect with people on an in-person basis. So it's really nice to have this studio space for this week to showcase my work um, and then meet people and reconnect with people and to reintroduce my work and hopefully then get more work down the line where we kind of explain the type of stuff that I want to do moving forward. Like I want to start doing more large scale uh, work and large scale digital commissions. I want to start doing more sculptures. I want to uh, get into sculpture making this year as well and uh, work with brands, work with different companies and organizations. That's what kind of naturally makes sense to me as, a, as an artist and creative because that's the world that I come from with the advertising world, a lot of my subject matter relates to, and a lot of my approach as well, like is, comes from advertising and, and like thinking about like the advertising world and stuff, that's just what I know. I think failure, like, um, I think failure is just lessons, like lessons learned, like, you know, I think for me, I call failure is L's, like, and to me, L's are lessons, like, so I don't really see, I don't see failure as failure in the sense of the dictionary definition for me, it's just like, step in the right direction to figure out what you're supposed to be doing and what you're trying to do. Um, so an L is a lesson. And also pat yourself on the back as well. Like give yourself a pat on the back every once in a while. Don't be too hard on yourself. Uh, don't beat yourself up. Uh, like be your own best friend, be your own like best commentator, your best, like your biggest fan. You have to be that person for yourself because it takes time uh, to kind of it takes time to be great and greatness takes time and that's just like standard so just be ready to keep putting in, putting in the work and not know when your opportunity is going to come like but just keep pushing like just keep it going like steady thanks for watching